Style Spectrum Hill! <laughs> After the three years of filming for the video, I feel pretty good about just having it done. I mean, we got a lot of stuff. I got a lot of stuff that I wanted to do. Um, it was a lot of fun making of the video. There were some really rough, stressful moments throughout it. The last couple of months were pretty intense. But I feel pretty good just, just with it being done. And, and, and I think the video came out really well. I think that it's a really, the whole thing is a pretty amazing production. And it's, I'm pretty proud to be part of it. Um, I think Lucas's part and Dennis's part are like my two favorites. Um, but everybody had really amazing stuff. I think that Mark had a bunch of really amazing tricks. Um, I think I kind of need to watch it out, like on my own at home to really kind of take it all in. There's a lot in there, and so I think there's a lot of things you just kind of need to like pay a little more attention to sometimes. So right now I'm saying Lucas and Dennis. <laughs> Maybe Mar Mark's last trick. He does a line. Which is, and then he does a nolly, or back swing 80, fakie, manual, frontside big spin out. And that just like seemed pretty impossible. It's something that I never like would have thought of. And then um, also Gustav does like a big spin to, I guess, what was it be? To Willy Grind, I guess, something like that. Big spin Willy Grind up on like a bank to bar thingy. And that was pretty just like, both those tricks are stuff that I don't think I would have ever like thought of so when I saw him I was like whoa how did you think of that or you know what I mean like where did that come from so I think those are the most surprising for sure I did a front blunt to nose blunt and maybe not filming it at that spot it didn't take a long time but I had tried it several different other places and so like learning that trick and trying to figure out how to do it right took like several different sessions probably like 10 or 12 different like times, like different places, you know what I mean? They weren't all, it wasn't always at the same place, but like I would try it for like an hour somewhere and then just not be able to do it. And then a couple weeks later, try it again somewhere else. You know what I mean? And so I think maybe that one like took the most amount of effort, but it was, it was like, it wasn't really as stressful as some of the other ones because it was fun kind of learning it and trying to try and figure it out and trying to figure out how to like get my body to do it right, my feet in the right places, you know? So it was cool. Yeah, uh, I broke my hand pretty bad. Um, I sprained my MCL. I dented my kneecap. Uh, I had a bunch of sprained ankles and stuff. So this the the last year I think like last year and a half I hurt myself a lot, <laughs> which sucked. But <laughs> I think. Barcelona is going to be the most memorable four away days because it's the only city that we were in that the whole group was there and uh, we all skated together and it was like the first time that the entire team was in one place and then but I think but I did a trip down to Kushu to the southern part of Japan and that was just like a super rad trip and we went to a bunch of really cool places and just like the skating was rad but also it was just a really beautiful area and it was just a cool adventure and it was like it kind of we didn't know what we were, we didn't know what to expect, kind of, so it was really like, exciting every time we came to cool spots and just, so that'll be just like a memorable place that I went, you know, but I think for skating and for like the video wise, I think Barcelona. I like, I, I like rooming with Dennis a lot, just because we have similar things to talk about, but um, I like, I also like rooming with Pete and Nestor. Those are the kind of the three people that I room with is like Nestor, Pete, or, or Dennis. But I think I room the most with Dennis just because we were on a lot of trips together and like uh, we both have kids and like well, yeah, have similar lifestyles so we have a lot of in common so it's fun to talk, talk with him about things. Shout out to all the Korean fans. Thank you guys so much. Well, that premiere last night was awesome. People were received super well and it was cool to see all the excited people, man. It was really cool. So thank you guys. Thank you so much. <laughs>